Good morning and welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today show. I am Ralph Friedrichs, an addiction recovery coach and a life coach and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. Call me at 844-405-HELP. That's 844-405-HELP if you have any sort of issues. But today's topic, and if you definitely have issues with this, struggling in life. Have you faced a lot of struggles? My friends, I have faced so many struggles in my life, and you know what? When people tell you that struggles uh, become your strength in life, it is so true because every time I had a struggle, I became strong. I became a stronger person. I became a stronger husband. I became a stronger uh, worker. I became a stronger Christian. So four questions to ask yourself is how to tr transform your struggles into your strengths. Have you ever considered how your life struggles can actually help you? Listen to this. Have you ever considered how your life struggles can actually help you? And no, I'm not necessarily just considering the relatively cliche concept of everything happens for a reason. Nor do I wish to spout the typical look at the bright side of things uh, uh, that people seem to give you uh, advice on in life. I want to show you how you can actually turn struggles into your strength, into success. Number one, what have you learned from your struggles? Sit down for a minute and think to yourself, what have you learned from your struggles? I mean, I, I know that uh, all the years that I struggled of being a, uh, uh, a good human, I have learned that when you <clears throat> struggle through all that, you become a better human, a human that can actually look out to prevent things that made me struggle in the first place. And the same applies to addictions, same applies to being a Christian, it applies to at your workplace, it applies in life itself. After the dust has settled, do a post-mortem of the struggle that you're having, the situation that you're having. What happened that you could have done differently? You need to ask yourself each and every time. If there's anything you could do to make things different, do them next time around. <laughs> What, av what advice would you give someone in a similar situation that you have found yourself to be in struggling right now? We all know something. <clears throat> sometimes we fly with some. Uh, uh, sometimes we fly with some mistakes that we make, and sometimes we kind of stay under the radar to prevent them from happening again. The most important factor to consider, however, is what the lesson was learned from the struggle that has made you stronger. Number two, how can you use your struggles to help you? How can you use your struggles to help you? Each and every human is faced with struggles at one point or some point in their lives. What makes someone successful, what makes someone stronger is how they overcome their obstacles and utilize them to move forward. When you are faced with a challenge in your life, ask yourself, how can I turn this around to actually benefit me? How will this struggle right now, today, September 29th, early in the morning, benefit me to be a better person, be a stronger person, to be a better spouse, a better parent, a better worker, a better Christian? Number three, how are your struggles showing up for you? As challenges show up for you, how are you reacting to them? Are you resisting them or can you embrace them? Sometimes things show up at a specific time for a specific reason and resisting it can only make it worse, my friends. Pay attention and be conscious to how you are reacting to your struggles. Remember, all struggles can be turned around into strengths. Number four. Last but not least, do you want to live the hard way or do you want to live the easy way? We all have a choice on how we want to live. We all decide our future. It may seem easy to resign yourself to the fact that you have no control of what life hands you. But the truth is, is that you have all control, full control of what life hands you. By resisting what life handle, uh, uh, hands you, and just going with the uh, with the flow, almost like uh, 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 salmon in the, in the in the lake, 
go against the stream and when you face those struggles, tackle them head on. Don't let your struggles take over your life. Turn those struggles into your strengths. By resisting, consider that you are making things harder on yourself. If you're able to accept what has happened and identify how you can use that to help you, the journey will be much more enjoyable and fulfilling. The four questions to transform your struggles into your strengths are, what have you learned from your struggles? What have you learned from? And if you have identified what you have learned from your struggles, how will you make those struggles turn into strengths for you? Number two is how can you use your struggles to help you? I have learned over the years, and I learned each and every day, no matter what struggle I face, no matter what obstacle I face, I will identify that struggle. I will find how I can use that to benefit down the road, how I can use that struggle to strengthen me. Number three is how are your struggle, uh, struggles showing up for you? As challenges show up for you, how are you reacting to them? Are you just going to roll over and, 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 and let the struggle take over your life? Are you resisting them or can you embrace them? And if you have now just said you can embrace them, a struggle can be embraced to turn into a strength. A struggle can be embraced to be a learning tool, not just for yourself, but people around you. Number four, do you want to live the hard way or the easy way? We all have a choice we will have to make in life. If you want to uh, 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 more or less just live the hard way, then content, continue on your path right now. But if you want to live the easy way, take every situation that you face in life, every obstacle you face in life, and turn it around into something positive. Remember, a negative can be turned into a positive, and it's all right in your heart and in your mind. No matter what struggles you face in life, no matter where you are right now watching me and you're probably sitting there maybe in your living room your kitchen or you may be even watching me in a homeless shelter or possibly in a correction facility whatever your struggles might be they will all end the minute you say i won't uh, tolerate these struggles i will turn these struggles into my strengths and i will move forward in life but if you're letting these struggles just take over your life then my friend i will tell you it will never become easier because you need to transform your struggles into your strengths each and every day friends no matter how many times you watch me each and every day I face struggles each and every day it becomes harder and harder but each and every day I make it easier and easier life will always throw some sort of curveball towards you it is how you react it is what you do with it, and it's how you move forward that makes your life an easier life. If there is anyone in your life that is struggling right now, help them. You can do it many ways. You can certainly recommend my video on questions on how to transform your struggles into strengths. You can utilize the questions that I just gave you for your friend or even for yourself. But today is the first day that you can start uh, worrying about uh, or that you could stop worrying about your struggles and start um, appreciating that every struggle is a strength. Think about this for one minute. All athletes, in order to become better at what they do, they struggle and practice and struggle and practice. Well, life is the same way. Whether you're a cop, a fireman, a judge, a lawyer, an optician like myself, we all have struggles. My biggest struggle in life was myself. And once I figured out that I am my worst enemy, my life started changing. I learned how to, uh, when I was struggling with alcohol, how to defeat that and learn how to live in recovery. I learned when I was struggling with other family members and, 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 and uh, uh, people around you, I defeated that and learned how to communicate better. When I was struggling on first designing my show and my websites, I defeated that struggle because I used tools to learn how to make it better. I am uh, in the process of writing my book, Bottoms Up, Surrendering to God, Not Booze, uh, 
is 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 a struggle each and every day. Matter of fact, I got up this morning at two no at one thirty in the morning because all these thoughts came to my mind and what to put in my book. So I started writing. Yes, you struggle each and every day. And writing a book is not the easiest thing. And writing this book is about my life. It's about from day one until the day I finish this book. It's about all the struggles I faced and all the people I might have hurt and the people have hurt me. It struggles each and every day, but it's a book that will inspire you because starting in 2009, after my accident in Alaska, my friends, the struggles became easier and easier and easier because I've learned to live somewhat with them. And then in 2013, when I finally was lifted by God, because I couldn't take uh, living as an alcoholic anymore, God delivered me to learn how to live in recovery. And I will tell you, from 2013 until today, September 29th, 2017, you will be inspired by why I, what I put it, uh, at, uh, uh, in that book, uh, towards the end of the book, that is. Please keep the uh, title of my book in the back of your mind. It should be released August, September 2018. Bottoms up, surrendering to God, not to booze. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I will help each other take our lives back and may God bless you. And don't let struggles become your weakness. Let struggles become your strengths. Take care.